to be bringing you two of the ACC's finest as these in-state rivals go to battle today. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Carolina State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. From the five-yard line, at the 30, and he's taken down at the 38. North Carolina staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide 80. Here's the give. They'll bring him down at the 43. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Green gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. Going deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. down at the 49-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. After positive yardage. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Hurry. 
It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Decent pickup. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up 32. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Go three, go right. Ready. 180. And he's tackled at the 29. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. It's first and ten. Ball in the 29. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Taken down at about the three-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. That makes it first and goal. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. He's tackled at the one. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. One yard to the goal line. Down UNC. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 51-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. North Carolina ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike nine. Mike nine. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Mike nine. Mike nine. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 31. Here he goes. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, 
But they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. 93 with the tackle at the 40-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Gain of eight yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. to him on a quick throw. Tackle at the 16. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's second and 14. NC State's going to take their first time out of the half. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Nine to fight. Nine to fight. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. Zips it right. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 71-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Play. North Carolina State lines up for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He's to the 20. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. The strike complete, and he's immediately tackled. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. made around the 43 yard line very solid gain through the air i'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football and he almost has the int they're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted not a very smart decision by the quarterback he had no shot at completing it It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Ready. 
Gets out to around the 32. That's a game of 11 in the play. First down. It is he throws and it's going to be picked off. And he is drilled at the 48. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 36. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. NC State's out of timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. This kick return should conclude the first half. Don't be surprised to see some trickery here. From the eight-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 30. Low-scoring first half of play, but a close game. North Carolina State in front, 10-7. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Number two, back to return. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. North Carolina State has a three-point lead. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. here go, Ball dude. on their own 30. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Out of bounds, right around the 48-yard line. Steps 
out of bounds. At about the 43-yard line. at the 30. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. Calling a loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. This is the eighth play of this drive. North Carolina State is up a field goal. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. He's still moving. He's at the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 20. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop at the 36-yard line. I like how the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. They run left, and he'll lose yardage. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He airs it out. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Wolfpack. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 78-yard drive. And the result, seven points. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the pass. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 21. Oh, 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. the 39 yard line that's a game of 17 on the play first down from their own 39 yard line it's first down Fights forward to about the 39. So with one quarter remaining, the Wolfpack lead 17-14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down right around the 30. That's good for a gain of 31 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Take it inside, but the defense is ready. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 30-yard line, second down. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires that quickly incomplete. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is up. And he missed it left. No good. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just under three to go in regulation. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage.
yard line. The Tar Heels will use their first time out of the half. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 29. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. Fourth down. Star Hills have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just under two minutes in the game. That'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. From the 45-yard line, second down. Hits him hard at the 47. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and nine. frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down under a minute left in the game quick out to his receiver and he's taken down at the 15. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down. over the middle touchdown and they take the lead North Carolina's star is shining as brightly as he ever has it is fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team and that's exactly what we just saw and he hits the PAT a seven play 61 yard drive and it results in a touchdown so our score 21-17, North Carolina to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Brought down at the 23.
late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Incomplete pass. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. We have less than a minute to go. He steps out around the 31-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's on the run. He's brought down in the open field. NC State's going to take their first time out of the hat. Makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 36. Strike to his receiver, no good. But that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. Got the corner. He gets to about the 34-yard line. North Carolina State will take their second time out of the half. North Carolina is up by four. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. NC State's out of timeouts. That brings up second and nine. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. Two, three, the fight. Here we go. Check, check. Spider. Good outside run there. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 21-17, Tar Heel. Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. North Carolina comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry.